Hi, it's Treasure Goddess Christine, and I wanted to share the excitement of opening my um, hand-dyed silk hankies. It's so amazing. So this is one that I just opened and from the little burrito that I dyed yesterday. And um, it has not yet been, you know, dried or anything. It's still soaking wet. Um, very, very exciting. So I thought you guys might like to see some of the fun yourselves because it's kind of like Christmas in my house. Okay, I am just having entirely too much fun with these guys. So here's a whole bunch more waiting, opening. I can't decide. I think he might be calling my name. We'll do one more and then, um, oh my gosh, I've got some work to do. So I have a whole lot of yarn to dye, but these were just kind of, I don't know that I dye them all the time because honestly, the dyeing process was kind of a gigantic pain in the butt. Um, to say that mildly. So here is the newest one, but this, this, seeing them come to life. Oh my gosh. I'm just, it, I might be persuaded. We'll see. We'll see. And, and, and especially since they get even prettier when they dry. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ready for Christmas? One more. So the ceramic wrap is coming away. That's what helped me heat set and keep the steam. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. So looky here. Oh, we picked up some yarn that wanted to come along for a ride, apparently. Jumped right into my burrito. Okay, so here we have some beautiful grays, silvers, periwinkle blues on the edges. We're going to a lovely purple over to deep dark. I think this one has a lot of mystery in it. Um, it's got a lot of stories it could become. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I might have to dye a few more of these. We'll just... This, the story is still out. I haven't quite decided. But for now, for this being the not yet dry and not even silky looking, it's been a lot of fun. And I have a whole bunch more to open. So I will be seeing you soon. Um, Knitting in the Heartland is coming to Kansas City. Um, Yarn Harlot, Stephanie Pearl McPhee is going to be coming to teaching and lecturing and hanging out, signing, signing books. Um, I will be selling my lovely yarns and apparently some um, beautiful, exciting silk hankies. Mawata, I'm not sure if that's how you say it or not. That's how it's spelled. Uh, silk hankies and they're formed. Okay, one more, one more. I promise. It's like, it's like potato chips. I just can't stop. Okay, this came from the turquoise and purple collection. Ooh, okay. Okay. Everyone I open is my new favorite, but dude, this is truly my new favorite. Look, so this one is going from deep silver grays to rich, unbelievable, gorgeous amethyst purples down to turquoise and teals. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this might have to be done again. Just, just maybe we might have to have a little dye day. Okay. I wanted to show you a little bit also, not just how fun they are, but what silk hankies really are is a whole bunch of layers of cobweb thin, that's actually probably three or four layers actually, um, little bitty layers of the silk threads from the silkworms. And they're stri they're unspun from the cocoons and they're stretched over a square frame and layer upon layer upon layer. And it's just really, I mean, it's amazing. And you can pull them apart and knit from them, crochet from them. In fact, there's a class in Knitting in the Heartland coming up. Ooh, look at how pretty. Dude, this is so much fun. Knitting in the Heartland that shows you how to take these and you are going and they pull them and they play with them and you can knit or crochet right from the, the silk hankies without even having to spin them. You can also spin beautiful yarn um, from the hankies. You can use them in felting to help um, add some luster and some depth to your felted creations. But oh my gosh, they're just such fun to work with. Um, and so you just kind of pull layers upon layers upon layers. And that is, oh my gosh, seriously, this is more fun than I, I don't even know. It is so much fun. So I might be persuaded to dye these a few more times. We'll see. Uh, the jury's still out. Haven't decided. I think I've said that twice already, but, um, I'm still deciding. So in the meantime, I'm off to get these rinsed, dried, set, ready to rock and roll and dye. Oh, a couple hundred skeins of yarn in the next couple of days so I can get ready for Knitting in the Heartland. So I hope to see you guys at Knitting in the Heartland in Overland Park, Kansas at the Doubletree Hotel first weekend of April. 
Um, they've got some great classes still available. They've got an unbelievable vendor market with Treasure Goddess yarn and apparently silk hankies. Um, you guys have fun and happy creating. And thanks for coming along on this little exciting unwrapping joyride. I still have a few more. I keep saying one more, one more, one more. But truly, I'm done. Um, I will see you guys soon. And happy creating.